Hey everybody, Matt Chinian here. Welcome to my studio. I want to talk about this composition. I did this yesterday and I was fully cognizant of what I was doing, I think. It is the most, most um, standard of landscape compositions. And I've done this before, I'll probably do it again, and I'm not exactly sure why I did it, but I, but I did it. There was some, I, I guess I had some, some idea about the, um, the nature of the road and landscape, blah, 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 but not really good enough. So today, I think I'm gonna take it back. It's a, it's a gray day and it's a great, a great spot. Um, a week ago, I was at the same place. It was my friend's, a friend's property along the Batten Kill. And there was, there's access to the river. And this was about a week ago and the, the sun was created shadows, the tree shadows on the muddy water. And I just love that. I love that, the mud, um, the, the, the sunlit mud, the shadows in the muddy, muddy water. And I got that shape from nature. And that just seemed like such a great shape to me and just the way it, it sat on the water, where, there it was. And it's only present when there's sun and there's, a, and there's a shadow. And then it gets gray and it disappears like it does anywhere. I also did, so that was about a week ago. And I, 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 I like to play with different kinds of compositions. And I did this, I've been doing these sun shadows, another, another tree shadow. And I had some issues with this composition also, even though it was totally controllable. But this tree shadows move and you're, you know, you're out in the wild there. And I didn't like the way it just sort of, it, it just po pointed in one direction. It also felt too, um, too standard of a type of composition where you're, you're, um, your vanishing point just sort of goes into the to the back and, and maybe even outside of, of, of and I don't I don't mind it, it not adhering to that rule. But I didn't like it in this context in this context and I, I tried to change it when it when it came in. I'm not sure if that's good. Anyway, here was a little village scene, the lone tree, the car, which I didn't quite get perfect, but I think it's fine for what I need. And before that, this was one of my favorites from the week. It's Troy. And it was just such a great day in terms of the lighting. And I just found a spot and there's plenty of room to do it. And I found a shady spot to, to park in. It was on a Sunday and had some great shadows and great darks and some you know, I love the uh, framing with the telephone pole and the other telephone pole and the, you know, all that. So it's a lot of fun and urban compositions can give you that, that you sometimes don't get into a, um, a, a, a natural composition. And there's one thing I want to just other than that to think about, because this was a painting I did in the Adirondacks it's a little over a week, it's about maybe two weeks ago. And I was able to get a very different composition out of the natural space, which I, I really thought was okay. Anyway, just a thought for today. And I hope you enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.